Hello, my name is Michael Posnick, and today we're going to look at the BMW 335xi, specifically looking at the iDrive system. Radio. Radio. FM. FM. And it brings me to the radio, which I don't even have programmed because I never listen to radio. I listen to satellite all the time. Um, so what I can do... Satellite Radio Channel 7. You are listening to Channel 7. So there's Channel 7. Uh, if I want to switch, just get and push the button on the steering wheel. Satellite Radio Channel 2. You are listening to Channel 2. So it brings up Channel 2. Okay, um... We probably want to see the map because we're going to go somewhere. Not really, but for pretend. Map. Map. So there's the map with my current uh, current location. I can use the um, the iDrive to zoom in and out, so I can zoom out there. Surprisingly enough, you can go right up to about. I think if I just I can do this manual or by voice. Zoom 500 kilometers. 500 kilometers. And that's where I am right now. Um, you're probably not going to use that zoom feature. Uh, zoom 500, no, cancel. Please repeat. Zoom 50 meters. 50 meters. There, you're probably going to use it set more like that than you are, I you know, 500 kilometers. Uh, press the button again. Menu. Radio. As you can see, it's not 100%. There's the menu. Uh, CD multimedia starting from the top. What that is, is in the glove box, there's a little uh, USB port. So you can take a, a USB thumb drive, you plug it in, it downloads all your songs. Uh, and it will re remember your last search. You can search via you know, artists, albums, titles, and then just hit start play and it will play. So right now I've got 434 songs and you can zip through them with the uh, steering wheel controls. Um, in addition to that, this system is completely integrated with, a, uh, with an iPhone. So the iPhone plugs into the car and then, if I want to place a telephone call, I can just go to telephone. I can select a, a contact from the list, or I can just dial it. I can dial my last number. I can look at received calls, view messages. Um, so this one's plugged into the iPhone. You can plug it into a... Uh, I also have a Motorola uh, flip phone. I could Bluetooth it into that as well. All, all voice control. In addition to that, one of the neat things about this car is, you zip down here, most people would think these buttons were for uh, for radio stations. Well, they can be, but I can also program, like I've got number six, which brings me to my contacts. Or I can press, uh, let me see here, I can press this button here, And it just phoned the office, which was going to go to the answering service because it's the weekend here. So uh, these buttons down here, you can program from anything. You can program them to bring up the map, to zoom, anything on these, anything on this menu, you can bring it up. So you've got telephone. Uh, again, you can dial it through the. You can do it through voice. Like if I want to dial a number, dial number. Please say the phone number. Five 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 one two one two. Five 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 one two one two and next. So I just hit dial and it would dial the phone number. Redial. Um, what else here? Navigation. Same thing. You can pick an address. The menu is up here to the left. And these are all voice commands as well. Uh, route preference, points of interest, uh, interactive, map views, zoom feature. Uh, this part of the screen here, you can change that as well. When you're in 
navigation, chances are you don't want to be looking at your entertainment details. Split screen content. Please say the name of a viewing mode for the split screen. Arrow display. This function is only available when route guidance is active. Okay, so if, if I did have it active, it would show me an arrow. It also actually shows you a picture of sort of the road in a cartoon sort of character way, and, and it shows you which way you can go on the road. Um, but if you push the I drive to the right, there's what you can do. You can have, um, uh, what is it here? Navigation, split screen. Anyway, you can select what you want. There's a bunch of stuff. I don't think I brought it up there properly. No, maybe I have to click on the right and then push the button. There we go. Map facing north, the direction, map direction of travel, uh, map view with perspective, position, onboard info, trip computer, entertainment details. So if I wanted anything else, I just uh, select that exit ramp view. That gives you a view of what the exit ramp looks like. So you know if there's a lane, two lane, merge lane, whatever. It's really nifty. Take it from somebody that's done a lot of traveling and a lot of playing around with GPS systems. Um, so again, I push menu on the iDrive, brings me back to the menu. This is really neat. When I plug in my iPhone, which I could carry with me or have in my office or whatever, and I update a contact, the contact will be updated in the car automatically. But in addition to that, if you subscribe to Apple's um, me.com, or alternatively, Google has a free service. Me.com is about $109 US per year. Google has a service for free. You can subscribe to uh, through the Gmail that will sync the iPhone and through the internet. So if I type in or look up a contact in the internet, it's synced with the iPhone. The iPhone synced with my car. So if I enter Bob Smith, it's in the car, it's in the iPhone, and it's online on the internet so that I can access it anywhere in the world. Uh, what else? BMW Assist. Oh, well, the new BMWs have a little uh, up here, if I can find it. I've got a tripod in the back seat. Right here, you open this little tabby thing, and there's a looks almost like a fire button for a jet fighter. And you press that, and that's BMW Assist. So that's also built into the iPhone. Let's make sure this is on there okay. Uh, vehicle Info trip computer, which I've never used, you know, average speed, looks like I need to slow down, uh, duration, distance, you know, I've got 8,500 kilometers on this car, Jeez, it's getting time to turn it in and get a new one. Vehicle status, I've never used that, but uh, there's a picture of the car, you can initialize your tire pressure so it'll tell you when your tires are low and tell you when, you know, so you can set them optimally then just initialize them. BMWs have had that right back to when I had my 03. Oil level, uh, service required if there's anything that's needed. Check control just tells you if there's any warning messages, say washer fluid, uh, you're out of oil, whatever it will tell you there. And settings would be settings for the car, time, date, language, tone, limits, Oh, yeah, this is kind of neat. I don't know what the hell you'd use it for, but it's kind of neat. Uh, you can set your limit, so when you cross that limit with the car, it will warn you. So if you set it, I had it set for 130 kilometers an hour, so when I went over that, it would warn me with three chimes, I think it does. Which I turned off, because it was, it was neat, but kind of useless. Uh, climate control. It's all kinds of stuff you can do with the climate control. Um, lighting, welcome light, triple turn signal, pathway light, door locks, you can program the door locks, you can program it so it beeps once or twice when it's locked and unlocked. Do -do -do -do. What else here? Control display, oh, brightness of the display. And that's a quick one run-through. 
we're up to 11 minutes here, so this is going to have to end because I think YouTube only takes 10 minutes.